The peace of the Lord be with you all. My dear people of God, amidst the uncertainties, challenges and struggles of life, it is sometimes difficult to see the hand of God in our lives. On this 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time, I reflect with you shortly on the theme, God is always behind the scenes. In our Gospel reading from the Gospel account of Mark, we are presented with two parables. The parable of the growing seed and the parable of the mustard seed. In the parable of the growing seed, Jesus compares the kingdom of God to a man who goes to scatter seed on the ground. He sleeps and rises night and day, and not knowing how it happened, the seed sprouts and grows. Secondly, in the parable of the master seed, Jesus likens the kingdom of God to a master seed. Even though very tiny and the smallest of all seeds, when sown upon the ground, it grows up and becomes the greatest of shrubs with very large branches. My dear people of God, one thing that is common to all the two parables is the idea of God working behind the scenes. And this leaves us with two lessons for our reflection. The first lesson is that always do your best and leave the rest to God. If the sower had not gone out to scatter the seed, there wouldn't have been any chance for growth. God is always interested in our best so that he can do the rest for us. And so be it your business, education, vocation, and what have you. Always do your best and God will take care of the rest. The second lesson is that great things often have little beginnings. The prophet Zechariah tells us in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 10, Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work he begins. If a small, insignificant master seed can grow and become a tree, let us never be dismayed with our little and humble beginnings. Most big discoveries and big businesses we have in our world today started very small. A number of important personalities in our country and in the world at large often had humble and little beginnings. And so dearly beloved, it does not matter how small you think you are starting. All that matters is that you start. We should never think of ourselves as being too little or small to make a difference. Scripture tells us in Job chapter 8 verse 7, Though your beginning was small, your latter days will be very great. Your beginning does not mark your ending. You may start small, but you will never end small. Beloved, the God we serve is a God who loves to work behind the scenes. He is a God of humble beginnings. It does not matter how many times you have tried and failed. It does not matter how small or humble your beginning may be. If your best has not yielded any positive results yet, do not be discouraged. When we encounter delays or setbacks of any kind, let us never give in to hopelessness. Today, God wants me to tell you that He is working behind the scenes for your good. As St. Paul rightly underscores in the second reading, we are to walk by faith and not by sight. Keep hoping, keep trusting, and keep believing because your breakthrough is coming. Borrowing the words of the prophet Ezekiel in our first reading, I say to you most solemnly, the Lord has spoken. 
and he will surely do it. May God bless and keep all of us in the Spirit. Oh